So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to create a bunch of tracks. I'm in my mixer window and you can see that I still don't have those little colored tabs visible. So I'm going to go up to view and I'm going to mix window and I'm going to select track color to make these little colored tabs that show up at the top and the bottom of each track channel visible. Once I've done that, I can call up my color palette. So I'm going to call up the color palette one of two ways. I can either go up to window and select color palette from the window drop down menu like so. If I close that I can also just double click on any of these colored tabs on a track to call up the color palette. There are quite a few different features you can use color coding on in Pro Tools, but in this tutorial I'm just going to focus on how to change the color of a track. So, now that we've got the color palette visible, I'm going to make a selection of a number of tracks. I've just selected tracks 1 through to 8. And just in case you didn't know, if you hold down Shift while you select the first track and then select the last track in your selection, that's how you can select across multiple tracks. Now that I've done that, I can change the color of those tracks. Now you see I'm not actually changing the color of the channel yet. I want to change the color of this whole mixer channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Control, Option, and Command and click. And there we go. Now another cool feature of this is that when you have your color selected, if you want to make it a little lighter or darker, just hold down those three keys again, Control, Option, Command, and on Windows that's Control, Alt, and Start. And click on the color and drag down or drag up. You can see how that's making the color lighter, oh, pardon me, lighter or darker. There you go. If you want to disable that whole feature again, just hold down those three keys again, Control, Option, Command, or Control, Alt, Start on Windows.